Hi creatives, today I'm gonna to talk you through my absolute favorite tools in Illustrator to make sure that you can work much smarter and that you can get great results with your logo design. Having the perfect spacing between each letter of your logo really helps to create that sense of balance and a polished result. So what we can do to change the kerning is to double click between the letters that we want to space and hold down Option. You can then use the arrow keys to move the letters individually. You can test it out between each letter to make sure that you find what looks the most balanced. If you want to change the tracking instead, meaning that you change the spacing between all the letters at the same time, just go up to the typography menu and use the arrows up and down to test it out. A higher number gives you a lot more space between the letters and a low number moves the letters closer together. You can even go into negative numbers to create a really nice dense logo design. A really cool new feature that Adobe has launched is that you can actually use sliding scales to set the weight of your type instead of just choosing from bold or regular, for example. It doesn't work for every typeface, so to find one that has this feature, open up your fonts library and look for the little symbol that says variable. Let's have a look at this one, for example. You can see that here you actually have a sliding scale. Another new and really time-saving feature is the type touch tool. To access it, just go to the type options from the left hand panel and scroll down to the type touch tool. This tool allows you to modify just one of the letters in your logo without having to expand the text. That is really awesome. So you can make a change and you can then keep editing your text afterwards. You can rotate the letter, you can change the position and you can even change the size of just that one letter. This might be my favorite tool so far. If you have a design that will have overlapping elements and you want to create a really clean and well-constructed logo, you can use the Shape Builder tool. Start by expanding the text, so click Object, Expand and Make. Then ungroup your letters, so now each letter is its own shape. I'm gonna overlap these to create the design that we want. Then duplicate the O by clicking Command C and then Command F to paste it straight in front. Make sure that the O is placed on top of the B and then mark both letters. Then go to the Shape Builder window on the right hand side and choose minus front. Now when I move the O that is left, we have a perfect cutout. Next up is the Type on a Path tool. I want my text to be on an arch, so I'll create an oval using the Circle tool. Then choose the Type on a Path option from the Type panel and click on your shape. Write out the text and then alter the size to fit your design idea. You can move the placement of the text on your shape by grabbing the little handles. This design style is really great if you want your logo to feel very dynamic and it also helps create space for like a tagline or other design elements in a nice lockup. Next up I want to talk about the pen tool because it's the one tool that gives you the most creative freedom. So far we've created a really solid base but if you want to add on flourishes or make small custom changes the pen tool can be a really great choice. The pen tool lets you create an anchor point when you click. So if you hold down the mouse and pull away from the anchor point, you will see handles appear. These let you customize the curve of the line. So we want to aim for as few anchor points as we can while still getting a nice smooth line. More anchor points just create a risk of adding a little edges to your design that you just don't want to have. If you want to edit the shape that you created, just use the direct selection tool and click on one of the anchor points. This will allow you to move it and play around with the handles and create the shape that you want. If you want to add an anchor point, just select the shape and choose the pen tool. Click on the line where you want to add the new anchor point and there you go. Thank you so much for watching. I would love to hear which of these tools you're gonna try out in your next logo design down in the comments. If you really love logo design, I think you would really enjoy my video on how to present logos to clients. So I'll put that here in the video for you. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck with your projects and see you next time.